What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for toys? You kind of do. A little bit. And this time around, you can make mine marble. Hey nerdlings, it's Jasmine from Nerdy Blazion Cosplays, and you're watching Do You Nerd? Hey, what's that? Let's take a look. It's time for a closer up. What do you have for us this time? Well, we have a complete line from a series of Marvel Legends, and this one, the Build a Fig, is Fat Thor. The majority of them are from Endgame, but you do have two special ones. That's right. I did notice that uh, Heimdall here, it says he's from Infinity War. And then we've got Vision here from Civil War. Now, the reason that they did that is because Vision was not in Endgame. He was, uh, spoiler alert, gone by then. But... He has not been released by himself yet. This okay. is the first time he's been released by himself before you got him in a two-pack with Scarlet Witch. Basically, they needed enough figures to complete Thor, and since they hadn't released Vision or Heimdall yet... So they basically pulled them from the movies that we would know them from. So, like, the look of them right. is from this movie, whereas the looks of these guys may be more from Endgame. Yep. Makes sense. All right, well, there you guys go. Uh, so all of the figures that you need to build Thor. And if you're someone that collects figures and never takes them out of the box, well, you will never see uh, Bro Thor built. So that is it. Hey, like, comment, subscribe, all that Wait jazz. a minute. I like to open my toys. I like you to play with my toys. And I want to see Fat Thor built. Anybody else want to see Fat Thor build? Oh, it's time. All right, let's bust into these bad boys. We've got them all out of the box. And right now, I guess we can start with the two leaders. Oh, yeah. Iron Man and Captain America. We have Captain America in the classic Stars and Stripes. And he comes with the shield. Which looks good on him. Does. It looks very good on him. And hey, this was mine. It was given to My me. My dad made that. He gave it to me. He My made it made for it. me, you whiny little spoiled playboy brat. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> they have done detail all over, including the shield. You've got, looks like, you know, really detailed leather straps. His outfit really does look kind of canvassy and not just a slick plastic as something else that I really, really like. He's got a lot of really good articulation, although the articulation that they gave him at the chest area kind of makes him look a little sassy in the butt. Oh, well. <laughs> he's kind of, That's he's a little like, hey. That's not a butt. <laughs> that's America's ass. That is America's ass. Woo, look, Captain can do the splits. Woo, yeah. <laughs> Right here we have the Iron Man Mark 85 because, you know, he's always making his suits. So you do have that red and gold look, although there are some nice silver, very metallic accents all through his suit. Again, just like with Captain America and a lot of the Marvel Legends, the standard articulation. He's doing his crunches as well. It's really nice always having that great range of motion with the figures. Makes them so, so poseable. And, of course, Iron Man has to have lots of attachments. He comes with a second fist, so both hands can be fists. Or both hands can be open, which is nice because inside of the palm is a little hole that you can attach a repulsor blast to. I really always love those. And you can do the same with his feet. So if Tony doesn't feel like taking the uh, Lamborghini out and just... See, now that is really clever. Sir, there are still terabytes of calculations needed before an actual flight is a job. Jarvis, sometimes you gotta run before you can walk. And the last accessory that Mr. Stark came with just happened to be his very own Infinity Gauntlet. Which is really cool. I really like that. 
Although we all know what that leads to. I love you 3,000. The Infinity Gauntlet piece comes apart into two. You have a cuff that goes over the forearm, and then the fist, the, the glove part, the hand, just interchanges with the hand as you normally would with any other fist or open hand. Well, obviously you can't tell with Mr. Iron Man here, but one of the things that I absolutely love about Marvel Legends, which is why I have chosen as you can see to collect them is they do an amazing job with the likeness of their face i mean you tell me that doesn't look like chris evans oh yeah yeah they are so impressive with their sculpts next up looking like some uh gunslinger on his way to a dark tower across the desert <laughs> zip it zip zip www.zipit.com actually he kind of looks a little bit like a bishop right here. He really does. Honestly, I thought that was who that was first before I paid more attention to it when I es first saw him. Especially with that cloak and everything, that's given me a very strong Age of Apocalypse bishop. But this is Heimdall, and he's got all the same articulation and movement. However, with that cloak, it does become a little harder to move things. And near as I can tell, Unless you pop his head off, that cloak isn't going anywhere. It's staying on there. It has a good bit of motion to it, but it is that plasticky. Mm -hmm. The stiff plastic. Yeah. It kind of covers some of the great detail on him, like with his belt. He's got his satchel right there and everything. And then, of course, the color of his outfit. Right here, you can see a wound on him as well. Well, I do think I remember he was injured at the end when he was escaping when he was wearing his cloak and again a great sculpt of the face they did a wonderful job even his eyes they tried to get that paint in there to get those uh gorgeous those eyes yellow of his eyes to really that he come had through. yeah and naturally he's got a giant sword well you know just in case you want to summon the bifrost yeah well with a sword that big uh you could freaking summon a new weather pattern in the local area. I summon the full power of the storm! Next in the line, we've got Iron Patriot. And he has a little bit of different articulation than most of them do, other aside from being a giant, big hunk of plastic. Now, his top guns came off so you can have them on him or have them off of him. That's cool. And, you know, they kind of position a little bit. These don't, they move a little, but, you know, not a whole lot. Does make the arm movement just a little bit hindered. His movements are more cumbersome, but it makes sense because he's a big robot. His knees are very stiff. <laughs> Somebody didn't use the oil they can. They didn't. They did not. He said oil can. Oil can what? Now, I do love that he's got his shoulder cannons with the rockets, and then uh, it looks like the hip rockets yeah. are on there, too. He does. He's got quite a lot of firepower on him. Which, that's what you want from the Iron Patriot, right? <laughs> yeah. With everything on him like this, he almost has a Transformer vibe, or he at least a mech does. suit. He does, yeah. And then with the color, it's like, oh, is this what Tony created for Captain America to run around in? Just a mech suit. <laughs> and then we also have Vision here. Now, I already, I've got the Vision from the two-pack with Vision and Scarlet Witch. And he actually, um, at first I thought, well, I've already got Vision. I don't need to keep another one, so I might sell this one. But I think I'm actually going to end up keeping this one because he is a lot more see-through. He's a little bit more um, translucent. But he's he's got his typical, like, his... It's not imaginary. He's just, like, projected cape? What was <laughs> what was that? I think they did another really good job of making him look like the, the actor. And he definitely has your very typical movements. And he did not come with any accessories whatsoever. He did not, okay. no. But okay. I don't think Vision really has any accessories. I mean, the only thing they could do is give you like a little beam that comes out of his forehead and, he, you know, I guess. They could have, though. <laughs> I, I guess, yeah. All right. Well, last but certainly not least is Valkyrie. Angry girl. Angry girl. 
first of all, another great face sculpt. I mean, seriously, like, she's already got attitude. Angry going. girl. There's a reason <laughs> Hulk called her angry girl. All the standard movements. Her ponytail, it looks like it's meant to really stay in the front, so you're not going to be able to move it, you know, behind her or pose it or anything. The cape... It does have the peg on the back, so it's very easy to remove that. She has some really great accents in her armor, like just a little bit of blue, and of course the gold. Now her feet are a little more narrow than some of the guys with their big old boots, mm -hmm. so she may not be the easiest to stand up. She does have the peg holes on the bottom in Which case you nice. want to get a stand, though, to take care of that. Best of all, of course, she came with her sword. And what do I like about toy swords? The sheath. Oh, uh, when they <laughs> go into the sheath. And just like Vision, we've got some translucent plastic right here. That is a wicked looking blade. Now, I'm very curious. I don't know if they intended her to like hold on to her sheath and the sword or hold on to it in the sword because there's nowhere to attach her sheath. Yeah, there's a hole at the bottom of the sheath that goes all the way through, but there's not a peg or anything on mm -hmm. her where you would utilize that and stick it in. So maybe she does. Maybe she uh, pulls the sword out of the sheath throws the sheath across the field and snaps <laughs> on with She's it. She's just done with it. Now, one thing I wish she came with was her flying horse. Oh, that, that would have been, been very so cool. cool. <laughs> well, these are some awesome, awesome looking figures. But let's see what their powers combined can create. <laughs> He looks like he needs all the king's horses and all the king's men to put him back together again. Wow. <laughs> Shall we? There he is in all his glory. The Thor dude abides. <laughs> Thor does come with two heads. You're going to have sunglasses on or sunglasses off. And uh, his hair is a little is a little flexible. Thoriel. He does use Thoriel. And he comes with Stormbreaker. And his robe, his gut, and what I would appear to be looking like prison pants, but I guess they're just lounge pants. <laughs> but it looks like he's stolen some convict's pants. It's got a lot of really good detail. The robe, the, what is that, the belt of the robe is very flexible. The pants even look very sloppy, like very yeah. baggy. They have that baggy feel, like they're dragging on the ground and just hanging really low. His chest moves more side to sideways than up and down so he can twist but clearly he's not been doing any crunches no crunches so how pleased are you with this as a build a fig i am very pleased with this figure um i think it's a lot of fun it i'm very glad they did this it's a nice fun whimsical character granted i mean i like my thor buff so i do prefer him not pudgy Thor, but it is very much a fun figure to have. Well, that's good because a lot of times when it comes to the Build-A-Figs, it's usually something a lot bigger. Uh, sometimes like Venom or I think Apocalypse has been one before, mm -hmm. but you know, like the really big figure. And once he's all together, he's really not any bigger than the, the regular yeah. Marvel Legends line, which I mean, you know, even when he's put on a few pounds, Thor wasn't. <laughs> But it is kind of a different kind of build a fig when it yeah. comes out, you know, regular size. I will say, I do hope that they come out with the Thor from Endgame at the end when he, you know, finally got his confidence back and he had that cool bearded, braided beard. I really liked that look. So I do kind of hope that we don't just get this Endgame Thor. That would be a cool one. <laughs> Well, there you have it, nerdlings. A great look at another line of Marvel Legends figures. <laughs> uh, a really nice variety, too, you know, from uh, just all over. You know, it really runs the gamut of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Mm -hmm. And then a fun build a fig to boot. So, if you would, please give the video a like if you happen to like it. And let us know in the comments down below what you think of any of these figures, especially the build a figure. And if you went after this line yourself, maybe just for Thor. That's what. 
be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can see uh, what other toys we unbox and rip from their packages. Because we're monsters! And as you can see, he's still worthy. Ah, uh, <laughs> Yes! <laughs> I love that part. All right, nerdlings, don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we have merchandise over there. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh, and if we like it, we nerd it. For Marvel. This is good. This is good stuff. Good stuff. This is real good stuff. All right. Yeah. Oh. 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 Captain. Yeah, Cap's busted. We have got some fun Marvel Legends figures. Let me try it again. Alright, now the other thing is do oh, cool. I didn't know he came with the big hand. Now we've got Cap here in his classic hang on, I just smacked my mic. We got Cap here in his classic Iron Man. Wow. Alright, let me Mark. Oh Jesus. L X X X V. Alexa! What is L X X X V in Roman numerals? Eighty-five. Wow. What you got with Iron Man there, bud? Well, th bud. <laughs> I don't <Wow>. know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs>